In this video, I'm going to show how MeshLab can be used to convert point cloud data into a polygon surface. The point cloud in this project was created using the photogrammetry program called Bundler. The software was used to extract data from three vertical aerial photographs of a large cliff by the ocean in Westover, Nova Scotia. The aerial photos were taken using CHDK with a Canon PowerShot SD780 IS camera from an EasyStar model airplane. I have already run the aerial photos through Bundler using the Run Bundler shell script and created a 3D.PLY file. At this point, I've imported the .PLY file from Bundler into a new MeshLab project. This scene has a point set of 114,000 colored vertices. Let's convert the point set into a polygon surface. The first step is to create normals for the point cloud. From the filters menu, select point set, compute normals for point sets. The default setting of 10 for number of neighbors works well. Click apply. Now let's close the dialog. The next step is to create a surface reconstruction from the point cloud. From the filters menu, select point set, surface reconstruction Poisson. For this project, let's set the arc tree to 10 and the solver divide to 8. Click apply. After a few moments, MeshLab will create a new polygon surface based upon the point set. To get a better view of the new surface, let's change the rendering mode from point to smooth. From the render menu, select rendering mode, smooth. Let's change the rendering style in MeshLab to a stylistic OpenGL shader. From the render menu, select shader, electronic microscope. Let's close the shader window. This rendering style uses a non-photorealistic surface material that simulates the look of an electron microscope. This provides an interesting view of the fine surface details in the mesh. At this point, I'm going to save the cliff polygon geometry. Let's save the mesh as a wavefront OBJ file. Click Save. There are two ways you can texture the reconstructed surface. The first way is to use MeshLab to transfer the color from the point cloud onto the vertices of the surface. The main limitation with this technique is that you can't get any finer texture detail than there are vertices. The other way to texture the surface is to use a program like Autodesk Maya to texture map the aerial photo onto the UVs of the polygon surface. Let's try the vertex transfer approach first. From the filters menu, select Sampling, Vertex Attribute Transfer. To transfer the point set colors onto the new mesh, we need to set the source mesh to the imported options.ply file. The target mesh is a reconstructed Poisson mesh. Make sure the transfer color checkbox is enabled. Click Apply. To view the textured surface, we need to change the render settings and turn off the electron microscope shader. From the render menu, select shaders, none. Now let's turn on the per vertex coloring. From the render menu, select color, per vertex. The vertex coloring is now visible on the polygon surface. At this point, things are starting to look pretty good. Let's switch to Autodesk Maya and take a look at the cliff.obj file we saved. I set the rendering style to points in Maya to get a better view of the imported surface. As you can see, the geometry transferred perfectly from MeshLab into Maya. In Maya, I created a new UV layout for the polygon mesh and texture mapped the aerial photo onto the polygon surface. With the high resolution texture applied, you can make out details like trees and vegetation on the edge of the cliff and the ocean waves on the shoreline. 